today, 3% of all CO2 emissions or global warming is caused by data centers. Like 3%. What? The B-side word. My article this week is about a Danish company that are proposing to use uh, the heat that is produced from data centers, like basically anything that you put in the cloud goes to these data centers and is stored somewhere. Um, and they're proposing to use a heat generated from them, the heat homes in some urban areas in Denmark. Oh. Um, and just a bit of perspective on this. Uh, today, 3% of all CO2 emissions or global warming is caused by data centers, like 3%. What? And they're predicting yeah. that's going to go up to about 10% by 2030. Wow. Just these centers that that's store in, that's information, incredible. store data. Yeah, because as, yeah, and as phones and stuff gets better cameras, every time you take a picture, that takes a bit more space than it used to every time we do recording like this. So everything we've got on our podcast in the cloud is being stored on a data center, which has to be on all the time, therefore is using energy and therefore it's creating heat. Now, huh. there's two things. We're One, a problem. we're a part of a problem. Yeah, infrastructure. But we could be can't. part of a solution to heating up homes. That's what we can say we are. How do they transfer? Like, are these data centers that are close to the homes neighborhoods? So how do they transfer this energy? So this is the thing. I haven't actually seen. There's, I haven't read enough about the technology. But there's two ways you can do this. One is how most people, I guess, would think is. You just have like some sort of wire, which is very thermal resistance, like pipe. And then it sort of takes that heat through an air and then takes it to somewhere close proximity and then puts the heat into the home. But more likely it will be um, that heat would basically that, that be turned into like electricity. basically, yeah. And yeah. then that electricity can then be used to power your home oh, in any way you want, like okay. any way that you would normally use electricity. Yeah. Um, but these guys like come up with loads of solutions. This is the one which is actually like a really because they do quite a lot of sort of novel things like um, car exhaust. They'll retake the heat and put it back into the car, but the percentage of that is so the proportion is so small. What? It's not a big deal. But this is actually a really big deal. Huh? This is and something crazy. you never think about. That's a. It's so it's got the same concept as like that thermal, like that thermal stuff. Like when, they, stuff. like when they, like when they thermal stuff, they put they put water down into down into the earth and then create steam. Yeah, that that oh, is yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a similar thing. Yeah. So there's lots of ways you can turn heat into energy. Like well, that one is you get water at a normal temperature, you put it down where it gets hotter, and as it gets hotter, it expands. And that then moves some sort of piston or arm, which then generates a current in right. a battery to charge up. This is just... so that's like the standard way of doing it. But then it's just the whole point, which is kind of cool, is you can't like you can never destroy energy. That's like a very fundamental mm. principle of engineering, right? You can never destroy energy. But there's so many industries which waste energy and it just goes into the air as warm air or something. So they're trying to mm. find ways they can like say, well, that Use energy that. is wasted in this system, but in another system, it's very useful. Yeah. yeah. Right. So they're saying, let's take it from the data center and move it into. Home. Yeah, yeah. So you can That's be like, wild. my home is heated by, by the, like, data the more I go on the internet, around, the warmer my home gets. <laughs> as, yeah. as an engineer. Come on, <laughs> Gary, keep typing faster, faster. <laughs> Come on, Gary! Gary! <laughs> Gary's as not an Scottish. <laughs> do you um do you have to think about energy energy loss with anything that you do, or is that just something that I would be surprised if there's consider? any engineer that doesn't think about energy loss. Like any so, type of engineer I know of. So is that something like that you can, like, engineer. you try and mitigate as much as possible? Or is yeah, it just the, you're aware of it? No, if every every time you're wasting energy, that means you're wasting money. And people like money, apparently, bigger businesses. <laughs> like if, um, for example, like an LED light bulb compared to a normal light bulb. If you touch a normal light bulb, 95% of the energy has gone into heat. Yeah, right. So it costs, so it's 60 watts. So you need 60 watts of energy to keep it going right but then you get an led one which only requires one watt because it produces very little heat but all light so all the energy that gets drawn out of that battery only goes into light in the same way cars are all built to be aerodynamic because 
It's a How waste of energy. Just to light without heat. Yeah. I thought light and heat were like attached at the hip. Um, up. <laughs> <laughs> no. Light told heat. It wants to see other people. <laughs> <laughs> see it wants to see other people that's a good one he took it pretty <laughs> hard <laughs> i'm upset i'm upset that cj didn't mean that pun and emma's the only one who picked up on it, yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> i have my days <laughs> <laughs> well yeah everything but even like so like you can walk you can walk around your house you can walk it's when you think about it, like you can't stop thinking about it. If that makes sense. Like once you think, want to think about this kind of stuff. So, for example, like if you stand on escalators, or like I can just do a walk somewhere. Like if you stand on the escalator, the people going down because they're heavy, that escalator will be generating energy from them. Like it'll be using their weight to generate energy to help lift the opposite escalator. Oh, so you what? don't waste as much energy. Do you know what I mean? Wow. That's why when That's I get on them, the other side moves a bit faster. <laughs> 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 That's we need, um, so... I we need class time that. with Maxi. You just teach us something. But I know. Do you want to? Do you want to hear some um, novel ways you can make an, like make electricity? Go. Yes, I do want to hear novel ways I can make electricity. Mouse, mouse in a wheel. <laughs> so, firstly, a little bit bigger. Mouse in a wheel. <laughs> I think these, some of these are really important, right? Because we're in lockdown, yeah. So we might need to uh, we might need to make some electricity for ourselves. Oh. So I if you have an onion, <laughs> if you have an onion, you cry. Yeah, yeah. we're getting a bit extreme. You can squeeze the juices from the onion, and they can be like converted to methane, and then you can use that methane to turn it into electricity. How? Which, I feel like you've missed the most important steps. Yeah. Um. I don't actually know <laughs> how you turn methane into electricity. But I know there is a California company which is basically there's a lot of methane in the atmosphere, right? They're taking methane out the atmosphere and turn it into electricity. But right. it's just a known fact that you get a lot of methane out of an onion when you squeeze no it. No way! You just uh, need to wear glasses so you don't gonna cry. So you don't gonna cry. Um. Yes, that's exactly why you cry again. when you cut so onions. Does that mean that we should really be looking at? like uh animal farms and turning them into electricity farms as well because they're the biggest providers of methane aren't they no 100 percent. people that the people are proposing that huh how do you run your car cow farts or <laughs> 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 natural <laughs> that's really cool oh, I really I that. the gas in Class time with Maxi. Uh, another quite novel one is there's the jackets you can buy, um, and they take the take the heat from your body in the sweat, and they turn that into electricity. Ooh, is that like enough to power anything? Maybe you're when you're going um, when you're walking, you can I, listen to your headphones. I can't see the facts, but I'll guess it will probably take about a month or to two months to charge a bit of your iPhone. <laughs> but if you run wearing the coat. Mm. Maybe it'll take you like six weeks instead. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't know, because basically this is a good way to think about it, actually. Like say if you're in a room, right? And the room's got no heat in, and then if you put a radiator on, like that would take energy that would require energy to heat up the room, right? But if there was no radiator and you just started jumping around and there's no ventilation in this room, the room would just start to heat up because of your body heat. Mate, my room yeah. heats up every right. podcast, so and that's got nothing. Well, to that's do with probably radio. also because of <laughs> that's probably also because of all of your like laptops and cameras and so on and lights. But if you go into a dark room and there's no radiator and it's just a room and it's cold and you start running around, essentially what you're doing is you're converting the food energy, the, the energy you consumed as food. You start running around, it then creates heat as part of that. You ex exert that heat through your sweat and through your skin and your breath, mainly for your breath actually. And then the room gets warm. Law of so it's just like, dynamics. You can, yeah, yeah, you can clearly see that energy transfers in lots of different ways, but we're used to just storing it in like fuels and batteries. But and these fat, people are looking and at fat. I think it, I think it's the volume fat. of energy that makes a difference as well. Like you were saying, like for a person to produce enough energy, like wearing that coat, for example, you'd have to get like a, a thousand people in a room just to charge one phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I think you. I think actually, you probably get a lot more out of trying to get it from your breath. Like, if you can have a breathing device, 
Because I think most, I think it's like 90 something, 95% of your uh, heat is lost through breath. I don't so know to- why, but this came in my head. You're just like talking. I'm like, I'm ringing you up, Ems, and I'm running out of battery. And then I'm you calling you up. Put I go, your mask, connect yeah, the charger. Go, hey, one Em, end. what's well? <laughs> you know, <laughs> what's, uh, what do you? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, is your battery running low? Yeah, my battery's running <laughs> Just turned into a Darth Vader, didn't it? That's, that's what yeah, he was I feel doing. Like the mask oh, with the charger. Darth Vader was just charging his suit. Charging his suit. <laughs> he was charging his lightsaber. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Okay, I gave you a very bad fact there. Only 2% of body heat lost through breath. Oh. Oh, 2%. Oh, that was quite the opposite. <laughs> 95% <laughs> is lost through heat. Maybe Minus 93%. Wet. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Maybe ignore everything I've said in this article. Well, <laughs> 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 we believed you. Anything, anything, anything that includes biology, ignore that stuff. Like any of the other stuff. Do you know I think. what? We I should hope. release this as a PSA as to how easy it is to get false information. Because, <laughs> yeah. and not, this is just Maxi. This is legitimately what happens. Maxi, like in my world, expert comparative to me when it comes to engineering or any of this stuff physics. in my yeah. world maxi yeah, expert gives me information expert. gives me numbers yeah. percentages gives me lot it all makes sense everything he said made sense but it was so wrong like that's how we <laughs> <laughs> only that only that bit though that's why i checked it no yeah i know but that's what i mean like how often do we does this happen like tv and stuff where oh yeah but this expert this doctor said this it's like yeah but they're in very TV. true yeah. <laughs> The next